Alright, I'm in my hostel right now and I'm gonna do a social experiment. Earlier on I filmed a video about how safe it is to travel in Phnom Penh during the day and it's almost nightfall now and I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna wander around the streets here in Phnom Penh and try to go into the back alleyway. You might not be able to see me properly because of the, the darkness that we're about to face but yeah, nevertheless, let's go out to the streets of Phnom Penh here at night and let's try out this social experiment and see if anybody tries to rob me here. I've got my secret money that I stash underneath my pants just in case someone robbed me. And I've got another camera to film just in case someone robbed me as well of this camera. So alright, I shall see you out on the streets of Phnom Penh under cover of darkness. See ya. I mean my tuk tuk now. And now we're gonna do the social experiment. Let's find a alleyway that is dark and let's do the social experiment. Will anybody try and do anything to me here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia? Well, my guess would be nothing is gonna happen because the country is generally safe now. But I'll see you when I get there. Alright, I'm here at some alleyway. Let's head forward. There's some dark place in front there. You can go and see. Let's head that way. Let's try and see if anybody will try and rob me or do anything to hurt me. Steal all my money. Alright, let's go here. Let's find out. This is really dark. Let's see. Let's do the same thing. Let's use my phone. Let me take out my phone here. See if anybody will snatch the phone off me. In this dark alleyway. Oh man, I'm really, really ill here. I just want to go to bed and sleep. Hold on. Alright. Right or left? Let's hit left. Left looks darker. I'm not sure if you can really see because it's really dark here. I can show you what time is it. It's about just half past seven and it's really dark. Alright, I'm using the camera on my right hand here. Let's see if any passerby will try and snatch it. Let's just continue walking then. Is Cambodia really safe? Is Phnom Penh really safe at night? I'm here at the back alley or in a quiet street here. I'm not worried about people trying to steal my camera. And I'm not worried about people trying to steal my money. Or it could be that I'm a male and it will be a completely, completely different story if it's female. But, yeah, there's a bunch of people down there to the right. They're not doing anything, they're not reacting anything. Let's see here. Let's try and head, oh, that's the main road. There's smoke down there. Okay, let's try and head forward further up a little bit. Not the smoke, yeah, I don't like. It's making me cough, but because they burn their rubbish this way. All right, are we filming? Yes, we're three minutes and a half in. I'm not gonna cut this video. Let's just film everything. Again, filming with my right hand. Using my phone, pretend to look at my messages. 
and see if anybody would try and snatch it away from me. I guess this would probably be my last video here that I'm gonna film in non pen from my series here. Hello? How come you're still open? No customer? What are you selling? No English? Alright. See you, have a good night. Let's go to the right here. Oh, they have music. Let's avoid music. Again, film with my left hand here since I'm on the right. So it's non pen safe. Well, like I said, I think it's going to be different if it's female. Would I dare a female to do this? I mean, obviously not. The only reason I'm doing this is as a social experiment. If I get robbed, I get robbed. And if I don't, I don't. I do have a second camera though. In the case where I got robbed, I'm gonna chase up after the guy. If I can run that fast, but let's say if I do get robbed, what would I do? Well, I think I would not chase up after the guy. Come on, a camera like this only costs about $800. It's not worth risking your life for $800 or a fish shop here. Interesting. I guess we're back to the city. I mean, to the main road. I'm gonna walk the other side. Let's walk along the other side and then I think it's, it's the main road. Like, I should have probably go and find a better back alley but um, I should have done more research in trying to do this social experiment but it's non pan safe like I said like I asked many times to myself obviously I'm talking to a camera no, I'm talking to you guys <laughs> It has been safe for me. No one's been trying to do anything to me. People have been really kind here, generally. I'm walking next to the temple. I'm gonna stick my hand out. See if anybody would try and grab the camera away from me. But so far it's been Okay, no one's trying to do anything, like I said many times. So when I'm vlogging, I think, I think about talking to you guys. I think I only have about, I guess, 16 subscribers, but they're human beings, so I, it's as if that you guys are here with me, so. There's dogs there. But I guess let's make a cross here and walk the other side. Here. There's a coffee place. And back to the place where they burn rubbish. here and I apologize if this video is is completely dark for you to see anything but hopefully my audio or the way I present this video will make it better for you that's the least that I can do when trying to do this social experiment here in Phnom Penh yeah 
I guess there's nothing much here actually. Um, I think the only thing that you should be afraid of are wild dogs. More than human, I guess. And dogs can be unpredictable at times. But I've never been attacked by any animals or human here in Phnom Penh. Let's film the street here. But I doubt you can see anything. But it's better than filming my face. Yeah, I'm, I'm back to where I was. How many minutes uh, we're we filming here? Can't see in the dark. But we got bungalows. Three-story bungalows. A little bit more four-story bungalows. I guess this is a condo. You can't see. It looks abandoned. But front there is the main road. I'm not sure where else to go here. It's all all looks um, rather. There's a lot of people. Maybe I should have come at. Uh, in the wee hours of the night. But, alright, I guess that's it actually. Nothing happened. Do I want anything to happen? Obviously not. But if it happens, it happens. I guess the reason you're watching this video right now is because I got my camera back if anything happens or nothing happens to me. Let's stick out here. There's this guy approaching me. It, could this be the final straw? No. People here are kind. They're nice. And their country is getting better and better. Improving. And I'm really happy to see that in my limited experience here in Phnom Penh. I'm really happy. Alright, I'll end the video here from my hostel. You cannot see but the Bilabong hostel is a great hostel. Not sponsored but I'll end the video here. I'll see you guys on my next video in a different country. Das Vidanya. Till we meet again. Goodbye.